Okay. Today I want to make a quick video that just shows you my favorite five tools for modeling success. There's really a million tools that can be used to model and I think there's five of them that really make the most sense for, uh, make, make the most bang for your buck. So we're going to start off with the extrude tool and this is a really great way for you to pull out new geometry from uh, what you already have. So you can select a face and click extrude and with that you can actually pull out a whole new area of your mesh. Um, you can use the widget to scale the uh, geometry that you brought out. If you click on the little circle you can rotate things. So there's really the widget is really pretty powerful. Um, you can also use this tool that comes up to add more divisions, um, change the offset. So I'll really encourage you to explore what this actually does. Um, the last part of this tool is pretty cool. You can um, use this setting called keep faces together. So if I extrude this and uh, pull it out, and pull out the faces. Notice how they are merged on the edges so they're staying kind of as one complete thing. If I turn that off, then it makes them into separate pieces. So depending on what you're doing, it could be cool to do it one way or the other. So that is the extrude tool. The second tool that I think everyone should know about is the target weld tool. And this tool is super powerful. It lets you take existing vertices and edges and combine them together. So I just take one vertice, I click my one vertice, drag it on top of another vertice, and it sticks them together. So this allows me to oops, kind of connect things together where I was like, oh, you know what? I didn't actually want this, so I'm going to merge them together. It's also a really good way for you to um, bridge gaps. So if I, for example, um, let's see, if I kind of came here and I extruded these guys, and if I have some divisions, and okay, all of a sudden I want to make a little connection across here so I can extrude this out and then what I want is like okay well I'll make a hole here so I'll just delete these faces and now I can use this target weld tool to drag across to connect these together to bridge that gap so it's a cool way for you to very quickly kind of um, connect things across or get rid of edges that you don't want super cool the next uh, tool is the multi-cut tool. And so I'm going to make a new cube for us to look at. And so the multi-cut tool is used for not only cutting in new edges, so you can click across, hit enter when you're finished, and look, I have a new edge. But you can also draw edge loops. So if I hold down the control key, you can see that it's wanting to draw loops. So I can click to create a whole new loop. And depending on if I'm hovering over a horizontal line or a vertical line, it'll draw a loop horizontally or vertically. So this can be really powerful for cutting in edges specifically where you want them. Uh, the last tool, uh, the, the last like modeling tool that I really like is uh, the append to polygon tool. And you can use this to fill in polygons where you want them. And um, so this tool is found in the, under the Mesh Tools menu. So Tools Append to Polygon. And what you do is you click on an edge where you want your polygon to start. So I say I want it to go from here. And I want it to stretch all the way across to the other side. So I'll click across to the other side that I want. Notice how it draws in a temporary pink one. And I think that's great. I hit Enter. And now there's a polygon that has filled in that hole. I can also use it to draw in triangles. So if I click one side, I can just click on the edge and it'll just draw a triangle in for me. Um, and 
yeah, I think this tool is really great. It's one of my favorites. Um, the last one is not really a modeling tool, but it is used for um, combining geometry together. So it's actually two, two different tools. So if I have a cube here and um, I have two cubes and I want to, you know, I've been modeling something, maybe they are legs of a chair and, oh, you know what, I want to model so that I can connect them together, make the top of the chair across. But I can't bridge a gap between these two pieces because they're two separate modeling pieces. So what I need to do is I need to be able to combine them together. So under the mesh menu, there's this combine option. And now you'll notice that if I combine them, um, I can now use tools like target weld to connect things across where before I wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, along these same lines is sometimes you need to be able to separate things apart so we can combine them together. You can also separate things apart by grabbing faces, the faces that you want to separate and saying separate. So combine and separate through two sides of the same coin. You'll now note that they are two separate pieces. Um, okay, yeah, so the five tools that I think you should know are one, the extrude tool, it's found here, two, the target weld tool over here, three, the multi cut tool here, four, the append to polygon tool here, and five, the combine and separate tools here. All right, thanks.